How to install MIUI China builds on the POCO F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the official MIUI China builds on your POCO F3 or the Mi 11X now. Don't be surprised, this here is the POCO F3 which right now is running Oxygen OS 11 and of course videos for this can be found in the description of this video. Now, even though I have the POCO F3, the process will work even if you have the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. Then make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. Next up, you do need access to a computer and no, at the time of recording this video, I am getting error 1 in TWRP and if you are able to fix that, do let me know in the comments below. And then there is another process wherein you rename the China ROM and then flash it with a locked bootloader. I do not personally recommend that process because that is a workaround and the day Xiaomi blocks that workaround. And let us say you have the Mi 11X or say the POCO F3 and you have flashed the China build and you want to go back and Xiaomi has blocked the workaround, you will be stuck on the China build with a locked bootloader. So again, I personally do not recommend that process. However, if you are brave enough, be my guest and use that method. Next up, the first thing we need to do is we need to remove all the accounts which are associated with our device. Now, I'm going to show you how to remove the accounts on the POCO X3 Pro. And if you are on a custom ROM, which is say based on AOSP or say you are on Oxygen OS 11, just remove the accounts, follow the steps and skip what is not applicable to you. So for MIUI, you can go into settings, password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock then you can go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into account sensing and remove your google account once you've removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you do reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we are doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device again this is a totally optional step if you want to keep your accounts signed in and then sign back into your accounts once miui china has installed successfully on your poco f3 the mi 11x be my guest but i just prefer to remove them before flashing the rom so that after flashing the rom i do not have to you know worry about remembering my password and all the other things which come with resetting your device with a google account or say a me account signed in now, once that is done, next thing we need to do is we need to boot into fast boot mode. So the process is turn off your device and then once the device has turned off, press and hold power and volume down. Again, power and volume down together till you see the fast boot bunny logo of Xiaomi. So here it is. This is the fast boot logo from Xiaomi. And at this point, we are going to connect our phone to the computer using the USB cable. So here we are on the computer and this is the website from wherein we are going to download the software and this is Xiaomi firmware updater. So we're going to say scroll to downloads. This is going to take us all the way down. Scroll down a little and between the obnoxious advertisements select ROM, select archive and here and enter your device. Now the code name for the POCO F3, the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40 is Eloith and select that and then we are going to say download. This will take us to another page and here and we should hopefully have a list. So this here is the list. Now we are flashing the China ROM. So again, Redmi K40 China stable and here it says type recovery type fast boot. We need the fast boot ROM. So we are going to say download besides the fast boot option and of course another full screen advertisement. Click anywhere to dismiss it and now you can scroll down. So we are now on another 
page here in scroll down and the first option which you will see read it so this is redmi k40 china but the type is recovery we do not want this we are looking for the fast boot rom so we need to scroll down the second option again code name alloyth redmi k40 china fast boot so this is the file which you need tap on download full rom and that is going to download the rom for us now once you have downloaded this it will be in the downloads folder but i have moved it to a folder called poco rom now do note this is the fast boot rom and it is a zip file so you need to unzip it now how do you know that you know this is the china build if you see this r h i you see c n c n stands for china so you do need to unzip this and we are going to use a software called winrar you can use any software which you want to so right click on it and say extract to the file name so this is going to extract this file for us which again will take some time so you have to be patient so we are almost there the extraction process is about to finish and it took somewhere around you know four minutes for the file to extract on my computer and again the time may vary based on the specs of your computer now once the file has been extracted successfully we are going to go inside the folder so let us go inside this folder and here and you have another folder now go back to your master folder where you have the zip and you have extracted it and we are going to rename this folder to give it say the name me 11 x and then press the enter key now go inside this folder and here and you have another folder go ahead and rename this one as well and we are going to give this another name let us say select me so we are going to give this the name select me and then press the enter key and now if you go inside this one here and you have your images flash all and all the other fancy stuff which you need now the next thing we need to do is we need to open the me flash tool and of course if it asks you for permission to make changes select yes and this here is the me flash tool so here we are on the me flash tool and we are going to say refresh and that should bring up our device and there it is you can see the device is connected in fast boot mode now what if it does not show up for you again the video on how to install drivers is linked in the description of this video herein we are going to go ahead and select select wow anyway so tap on select and then you need to navigate to the path where you have extracted it so in my case it is in this pc and once inside this pc i will go inside my c drive and i have a folder here called poco rom and inside that we have some more folders so for starters you have me 11x and then you have select me so select this folder which is named select me and then say okay next thing super important at the bottom select clean all again do not select clean all and lock because that is going to lock your bootloader and again i personally do not recommend that you lock your bootloader on a rom which is not supposed to run on your device and in this case we are cross flashing roms from one region to another so do it for enjoying the rom and not for locking your bootloader because i don't know what the results are going to be so again clean all is the thing which needs to be selected over here and then all you need to do is select flash now another important thing or another pro tip is that the process will take some time for me it takes around six minutes so again have some patience and also make sure that you have connected your device or your computer if you're using a laptop to a power source you do not want your laptop to be turning off while you're flashing a custom rom on your device because you could end up with a bricked device so keep all those things in mind and have some patience also yeah if your device is on battery right and you know it is at 100 percent turn off those battery saver options wherein hard disks go to sleep the screen goes to sleep so again make sure that the computer is wide awake when it is flashing a custom rom now once the process has finished successfully the device is going to reboot and as you can see our device just rebooted we have success on the tool and we do have the 
Redmi logo on our Poco F3 and there it is you do have the MIUI boot animation now at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer now another pro tip is if you get an error what do you do so you go into this file which is flash all this is the one which we had selected remember we had selected clean all so the corresponding file for that is flash all go ahead and edit this file you will see here are the checks so this is the check for confirming that you know you're not flashing it on say a redmi k20 pro and this here is your anti version check if you get any error and you still want to you know force your device to flash it go ahead and remove all these lines so you can remove the lines which i am highlighting right now remove this and then save it and then try to flash it of course you might have to you know connect and reconnect your device in fast boot mode and the other thing you can try is also removing the first two lines so basically your flash all will start from erase boot underscore ab again do note you're doing this at your own risk i'm just telling you a way of how to bypass the anti version and also the error mismatch image and device which you might get all right so here we are and we're still at the miui logo we of course can you know disconnect our phone from the computer and the first boot up of course is going to take some time so you have to be patient so here we are on the setup screen of course everything is in chinese because remember we have flashed the miui china let us select english tap on next and now let me skip the initial setup real quick and we are on the home screen let us go into settings damn even miui china sometimes lags anyway settings my device here it is miui version 12.5.6 stable device is now redmi k40 go into all specs here it is see the miui version it has cn this means we have successfully flashed miui 12.5.6 china build on your poco f3 the mi 11x or the redmi k40 and of course animations and this are always smooth and better than the global and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you